You're listening to The Voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. With me in studio today, the one, the only, the order man himself, Timothy Clark. Timothy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, man. Glad to have you on, brother. Yep. Yep. Now, now Timothy runs... Uh, 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 Runs the order members or runs the order here in the IWA. Uh, I've gotten to know Timothy, uh, uh, by interacting with him in the GNL there in the iron. And, uh, ever since, uh, ever since he's come back, like I said, he's been a, a vital part to the growth of the interfed, uh, making connections I never thought I would, I would ever make. So I, I want to thank him, you know, on air personally, you know, for that. And, uh, like I said, uh, just, you know, the fact that, uh, we can get some more interactions with uh, with different sets of managers is uh, is a wonderful thing, sir. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Yeah, we um uh, we have the Guerra de Campeones right now in the Interfed, and uh, you know through the help of uh, Timothy, we actually uh, filled up uh, the HRL and the NSL, and uh, you know it's going to make it for you know it's going to make this third edition of the Guerra de Campeones. Uh, very, very interesting. So, um, but to get back to, uh, you know, what we're going over here on Interfed Radio, you know, we're, we're bringing characters, uh, onto our stage, bringing, uh, you know, shining some more light on them. Uh, one of Timothy's characters in the GNL is, uh, Vicious Timothy Clark. Uh, you want to speak a little more about, uh, Vicious, uh, there in the GNL, sir? Yeah, sure. We could talk about him. Now, He's um, not so much different than me. <laughs> You're like, he, he's a straight replica. Yeah. Now, um, with, um, with your characters there in, um, in the GNL, it's not only Vicious Timothy. Who, who else you got there? I got Dr. Savage and Too Quick J.G. Brenner. Now, I, I saw J.G. Brenner uh, on the title page. Did, did uh, or did I, or did I mistaken him? Was he on the title page this cycle? No, no, I don't think any of my guys were. Okay, okay. Yeah, the name's ringing a bell. I, you know what? I think, I think maybe uh, it's maybe it's a bell. the trash talk. That you know what? That's probably what it is. I think we were covering it with uh, with Wes, uh, with, excuse me, with Wes uh, on the last show that we had. Uh, so that's why it's probably ringing a bell in my head. So yeah, no, the names definitely ring a bell. Like I said, through the trash talk, but awesome, man. Now uh, you're coming back from an extended uh, departure from the IWA. Is this a, a, a recent comeback? Yes, this is a recent comeback. Yeah, I'd say about five years, maybe. Nice. Now, what what drew your attention back this time? Oh, I just love doing the IWA. Nice. You're like, it's one of those, uh, it has that addictive quality to it, so it, it definitely um, brings us back uh, time and time again. Uh, myself, I, I played uh, back in 2012. Uh, it was my first time back from, you know, playing back in my high school days. Uh, now have you been in and out? What yeah, was the first 22 oh. years? Holy moly. Do you remember the first league you were in, Timothy? The Combat Ready League. Combat Ready. W was it divided into federations back in those days or? You know, I can't remember. Okay. If it was divided back then. I think it was, but I'm not sure. Now, in terms of uh, in terms of personal, uh, you know, a lot of people have different interactions with different uh, managers and different characters. Is there an angle? Is there a story from you know the, these past? Uh, uh, I would say, I mean, your, your most recent stay in the IWA. Is there something that stands out? You know, a little angle that you want to kind of go over. This this stay right here. Well, I would say or, yeah, just yeah, or the just last in, one. I would say just in general, you know, in terms of when you when you think back to the IWA, you know, certain angles, you know, bring us back. You know, is there one that stands out? Yeah, there is one. I had brought 
Izzo the Terrible back from the BRL. He's the meanest wrestler I got. And and you brought him back to what league? The BRL. Oh, nice, nice. And he's just uh, you said he's the meanest one in your in your group right there. What what, what makes him what makes him stand out? Because vicious is pretty damn vicious. <laughs> Well, I guess, well, Izzo, his last sneak attack, he broke his, he broke both collarbones on the person. Oh, man. This is brutal. Yeah. Now, one of the things we talk about, uh, like, you know, certain managers, certain, uh, you know, they have their different ways that they play, uh, and not everybody's okay with you breaking their collarbone. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I had to apologize for that one. Oh man, yeah, you're, yeah. There's some things that you're gonna, you're gonna. Hey, you know, your your wrestlers are definitely gonna cross the line sometimes. So you know, hey, it happens. Yeah. Now moving into yeah, the yeah, yeah, that's true. Part. It does happen. <laughs> now, vicious. Uh, I know he's going at he's going at it right now with uh, with Drake right yeah, there in Drake there. Douglas. Oh yeah, and that, and that one seems like it's fueling up to be a a nice match on the next pay per view there in the GN. Now, what are your thoughts on uh, on that one boiling into into the pay per view? I really like the fact that it's boiling that way. I love a good feud. I've always loved a good feud. Yeah, one of the one of the things I was talking about is uh, how I enjoy the pace of uh, of the of the GNL. The Generation Next uh, commissioners do a great job of allowing feuds to build up. You know, they they do a great job of uh, controlling the action there. Hell yeah, Wes is a good man. <laughs> Definitely. Now, in terms of uh, running a league, uh, you got your hands pretty full right now yourself. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, yeah, I met the you, HRL. I, yeah, I've mentioned the HRL here on the on the show before. It's one of those leagues that's up and coming, has a lot going on. And you stepped in there, and you're, uh, one of your uh, characters is uh, the new general manager there. Is that safe to say? Yeah, yeah, Henry Jones. And now, what, what's Henry Jones have up his sleeves there in the HRL? What's, what, what, what can we look forward to? Well, he's got this lethal lottery thing going. Well, he's thinking about it. He don't know when he's going to pull the trigger, but he's definitely going to pull it. <laughs> I'm definitely a tournament lover myself. Okay, okay. And then uh, I, just a, just so managers out there who don't know, the HRL is the High Roller League in the bronze. Uh, it is uh, at large uh, one of the one of the at large leagues there in uh, in the bronze and. It's a hit with a lot of the at-large players because it, it, you know, it allows them to have a good number of wrestlers. That, well, what's the limit there? Twenty. Nice. So twenty. That that's that's a good number of wrestlers to have. It allows you to, you know, to you know, be competitive. I guess with your flows, if that's if that's your play style, and it allows multiple managers to get in there and uh, and enjoy the fun. And and they have a lot of great incentives, from what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Got a whole bunch of great managers there. Nice. Now, in terms of uh, other than the Lethal Lottery, uh, I know you yourself. You're running some characters there. Who's who's your um, who's your icon? Who's your superstar there in the High Roller League? The High Roller Paul Vegas. The High Roller Paul Vegas. Nice. Yeah, who's he mixing it up with right now there? Well, he's well, he ain't mixing it up with anybody right now. Because because he's trying to find somebody good to feud with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm on the lookout for that. Now that's one of those things uh we mentioned in terms of uh you know, play style there. Yeah. You know, it's 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 sometimes difficult to get some managers to trash talk because they're in so many leagues. They got so much going on. Uh, but I do enjoy the fact that the high roller league, uh, gives, uh, you know, gives, uh, 
you know, a lot of incentives, a lot of different reasons uh, to go there. And you know, I know it attracted a lot of people there when it just, you know, opened up because of uh, of the number of matches that they were. I, I forget how it's uh, twelve dollars gets you forty. Or, or no, it's eighteen dollars gets you forty, twelve gets you twenty. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I and and like I said, I know that's a great deal. It gets your you know record you know shooting straight up there. So yeah, I try not to be so piggy with my with my with my matches. I usually just spread them out. Now, in terms of uh, other leagues you're in, uh, Timothy, what, what other leagues can we find you in? You could find me in GNL, XPL, um, AWL, CCL, ASL, BRL, NWL, HRL, and UNL. Nice. Now, uh, most of those leagues I'm familiar with, uh, the one league I I know has a lot of activity, I just don't know too, too much about. I've actually just reached out to their uh, their commissioner to see if I can get him on the air, get a little more info on it, is the XPL. What, what, what can you tell me about that league? That is probably my second or third favorite. That is definitely a good league right there. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've peeked at the report. I, I, I do see that they have a lot going on. They have some great trash talk from what I can tell. It's in the iron? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the iron. Who's your, who's your characters there, Timothy? I got TC Rip. Um, I, I, I know that trigger. name. I know, I know that name from the streets of LA Rumble. That's a, that one's definitely one of the, one of the fighters I do remember. That, that, that name stands out pretty good. I like that one. Yeah. TC Rip, Trigger, Izzo the Terrible, Black Lightning, Joe Martin, uh, Primetime Ralph Harper, and Mr. Amazing, Jeremiah Brenner. Nice. Now, who, who in particular, anyone in particular right now you're feuding with uh, there or... No, I got plenty of friends that I talk to on the thing, but I'm still looking for that too. Nice. I said, and, and like I said, I know that one has a lot going on. So at, at times, uh, it's hard to get something started because you know most of the managers are, are running angles with other uh, other fighters or other managers. But I said sometimes it just takes a few a few cycles of uh, of interactions to get back in the flow. So. Yeah, I know what you mean. Now, in the you said you were in the UNL. Yeah. Who, who, who's your fighters there? American Pride Jack Edison and the Italian Nightmare Anthony Izzo. Nice. What can you tell me about those guys? What can I tell you about them? Not much. I know that on his second cycle, because he won the Battle Royal, Jack Edison won the Commissioner Title Television Championship. Congrats. Nice. He didn't keep that long, though. (laughs) (laughs) Which I was cool with, because I know titles come, titles go. Now, let's see. Now, one of the things uh, that caught my attention with the UNL was the number of tournaments. You know, are you liking oh, the number? Yeah. I'm loving the number of tournaments. I love <laughs> tournaments. Yeah, I heard. I'm you, just I heard, like I'm just like got you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just like Mr. Anderson. Oh yeah, it, it, I mean having having little tournaments and and the number of tournaments that are in the UNL is just. Whew. Yeah, I know. So many. It's awesome. I mean, but it definitely, you know, in terms of uh, being a player in a league, you know, again, everybody has their their way they play their, you know, their what what attracts them to the game more. So, you know, that's why we're doing these shows to kind of highlight some of these leagues, so that you know, managers that are that are coming back or considering coming back, you know, you know, get a get an inside look into some of these leagues and. uh 
hopefully we can get you know familiar managers or managers that are uh, attracted to that same play style in the in the right leagues and uh, you know keep this family yeah. growing here. Yeah, yeah. That's why I brought in uh, that new guy into the uh, GNL. That Fred Knight. Nice. Yeah, I brought him and his other two people in. I, I you know, I, I just recently saw, uh, I, I believe I saw his manager uh, add to the group. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to interacting with, uh, with the Knots. <laughs> with the Knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for any, for the, those of you guys, the chain guys, gang, the knots, <laughs> the chain gang. Yeah, for for those of you guys, uh, I I think I, it, it's uh, Fred Knot, Peanut, and C Nut, Sarah, and Sarah Nut. Okay. Oh yeah, man. So you look at, looking forward to definitely interacting with them in the GNL. Yeah, yeah. He wants to feud with JG Brenner. I'm cool with that. Ah, nice. He's like, hey, you know what? I'll I'll gladly go in, but I'm going after you. You're like, oh, bring it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told him. I said anybody's allowed to challenge me whenever they want. Anybody. <laughs> You're like just putting it out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This open challenge for anybody in GNL. <laughs> You're like, come come and get some. Now, yeah. now another now another one of the leagues you're in, you said was the ASL. Yeah. Now that's that's one of those leagues that you know very colorful. You know, Peter Houston, Frank Snow do a great job uh, with the report there. Oh uh, yeah, who, yeah. Who are your characters there? My characters are Big Timothy Youngblood, Big Matthew Youngblood, the Indian Princess Heather Redwool, Elizabeth White Owl. Oh man. Uh, Jeannie Running Cheetah. And who was that last one? I forgot who the last one was. <laughs> You're like, she's somewhere there. One of the girls is, uh, uh, one of the other characters that are around. Now, yeah, I, I just, I, I mean, I, I recently, uh, you know, I, I was commissioning the, the MML for a while. And, uh, you know, we had this, this thought and idea to, to kind of, Take the angles and take the stories that we had running there and then just kind of, you know, expand throughout the entire IWA. So we took one angle into the BBL. We took one angle into the ASL. We took another angle into the SHL. And, you know, we're, we're just, we're continuing angles into different leagues, you know, and, uh, the ASL was one of the leagues that I just got to. So I'll definitely look for you. I'll definitely, uh, Look for yeah, your Pato. Oh yeah, that's the one. Pato the duck. Oh yeah, man. He's he. You know what? I I was on with uh, Catfish Rob uh, on a show, and uh, I got Silver Fox hunting a duck. But I'm I'm sure I, I'm going to have a couple more uh, hunters uh, join that click before uh, <laughs> before the year's over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No duck hunt. <laughs> it's, it's time for the duck hunt in the in the ASL. Yeah, the uh, IWA way, not the Nintendo way. Exactly. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he's gonna have a feather left in his body when it's all said and done. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody's gonna want to pluck at least one feather. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, man, having having a lot of fun with this IWA, having a lot of fun with this Interfed. Like I said, I, I definitely want to continue to bring on managers to to talk about their characters and uh, to promote their leagues if they have a league, you know. So. Like I said, I want to. Con- well, you know, we like- all know which one my favorite one is. <laughs> G and L. The, by uh, far. Hey, by you know far what? So I, 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 as I'm as I'm doing these shows, like I said, I, I I've had obviously I've had uh, uh, you know Scott on, I've had you know Wes on, I've had you know a couple of the other guys uh, that I run uh, angles with, uh, 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 Sean and Brandon, and. You know, I, I think I, I've brought up the GNL in every single show. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one, it's one of those leagues that, you know, I, I hope, you know, we get it everybody. It keeps you invested. Oh yeah. I, I, and I tell people, I go, you know what? You know, it's one of these limit leagues that is so well run that I want to keep promoting it because, you know, I tell people, Hey, you know what? If you just, if you just get in there, if, if you are one of these trash talkers, you know, you get in with the flow, you know, it's, and there's some great movement, there's some great action, great pay-per-views, 
you know, so I'm going to keep promoting it, you know, just like, just like the RWL in terms of a, of a female league. It, it's one of those leagues that has a great commissioner, has uh, great trash talkers. It has, you know, uh, you know, it's had a report, you know, consistent, you know, for the last, you know, 10 cycles and, you know, and that's another one of those leagues that, you know, we'll keep promoting on here. And again, I, I promote the leagues that I'm trash talking in, obviously, because, you know, they're, they're the ones that, I find interest in, but I, I don't shy away. Like I said, that's why I wanted to bring you on because I heard that you were, you know, general manager in the HRL. I don't want to, you know, think, you know, people thinking that, oh, he's just promoting the, you know, the limit leagues. Like, no, I want to promote all of them. If, you know, you're willing to come on yeah, and talk about. I'm your... willing to talk about HRL. Dude, I love, I love every single league I'm in. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know, and, and, and that's, that's the one thing on this stage. I, I want to make sure everybody has an equal, an equal share of airtime. So yeah, if, if any manager out there wants to come on and, and promote their, their league, like I said, I'm, I'm not here to, you know, to hold anyone back. So. Okay. I need to give a shout out real quick. Oh, go right ahead. To two people. No, actually three. What's up, Wes, James, and Rob? <laughs> that's a that's a good group of people right there, man. The, those guys do so much for the game. Like I said, they they definitely deserve the shout outs they get. Yeah, I figured I'd do that for my interviews. So that there it is. That'll work. That'll work. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, sign off right there. You've been listening to the voice of the one, the only, the order man himself, Timothy Clark, and myself, IWA Flip. We'll see you guys next time. Yep.